good morning friends today i am going to discuss about the next part of uh, gst that is uh, yesterday i have completed some examples so next examples we are going that is a levy and collection of tax of indirect tax gst study note 2 group 2 uh, till yesterday we saw till eight exams examples see here we can see till here we completed so now i am going to discuss about now barter what is the barter but Bar barter means it is means the exchange of goods and productive services for other goods and the productive services without use of money what is the difference between exchange and barter exchange you can use the money in the giving goods and taking goods or if your good value is less uh, you can give the money and you can make it equal but barter is not barter you have to give the goods and take the goods without using money that is the difference between exchange and butter barter it is similar to each other just differences here we won't use any money just we have to exchange the product and in exchange it is just exchange we can use the money okay based on this we are seeing the example number nine that is mr c uh, pra a practicing cost accountant provided the services to msa limited dealer of laptop mr c is a practicing cost accountant what he did he provided services to mr a a dealer of laptop mr a msa is the a limited is the dealer of laptop okay in return msa limited given to mr c two laptops instead of that service whatever he given in the return he given in the return that return that is a goods not money that is a uh, he given two laptops to mr c here two way of supply takes place so what happened here two ways of supply mr c given services and mr msa limited given the goods that is two laptops instead of money mr c is making taxable supply of service and mr a limited is making taxable supply of goods hence tax is payable by both what happened in this case mr c also uh, provided the services to msa limited in return mr a limited given to mr c to laptop in return he given laptop he given goods so what happened this is two way of services done so what is the result both the way the sup supply is done so taken place so both the people mr c and msa limited has to pay tax this is the conclusion of this question so now we are going example 10 example 10 says mr x limit mr x a dealer in laptop mr x a dealer in laptop he supplied a laptop for 40,000 to mr y he supplied a laptop for rupees 40,000 to mr y along with butter of printer he provided along with butter of printer okay he provided along with butter of printer that is extra so the value of the printer known at the time of supply is 4000 so extra 4000 the value of printer is but the open market value of the laptop is not known we don't know what is the open market the value of the laptop okay the next one the value the value of supply of laptop is 44,000 hence mr. X is liable to pay GST 44,000 at the same time mr. Y is liable to pay GST on 4,000 if he registered a person so just careful here mr. X is a dealer he supplied laptop 40,000 to mr. Y along with the butter of printer what is the in this case we have to pay GST on the total total amount not for 40,000 only because the open market rate to, or rate of that laptop is 44,000 because it is including with that printer so 
what is the open market rate on that only we have to pay amount GST Mr. X is liable to pay so example 10 Mr. X is a dealer of laptop he supplied the laptop of 40,000 Okay, he supplied the laptop of 40,000 along with the barter of printer. The total amount will come 44,000. Okay, if the open market rate of laptop is 44,000. So, Mr. X dealer should pay the GST on 44,000, not 40,000. Okay, and Mr. X is liable to, and uh, sorry, at the same time, Mr. Y also is also liable to pay GST on 4,000 because. 4000 is extra amount it is not included in the when he supplied the laptop that is a 40000 so if mr y is registered person it is a rcm case rcm case uh, if you are uh, selling goods uh, registered person to unregistered person so rcm case will apply if the customer is unregistered uh, uh, the uh, owner has to pay the tax who is the supplier okay in this case if y mr y is also liable to pay gst 4000 if he registered they kept on condition if he registered if he not registered no need to pay if he is a register if no register mr x only has to pay the gst if he is not registered mr x has to pay if he is registered y has to pay uh, GST on 4000 okay this is the conclusion of example 10 so we are going to next part that is exchange just uh, when two person mutually transfer of ownership of one thing for the ownership of another okay neither once again neither things nor both the things being money only the transaction is called exchange okay uh, before point i discussed about this uh, what is the exchange and what is the barter so same thing is going to apply here um, so exchange we can exchange the goods with including money or without including money that is a exchange uh, they will transfer the right of ownership okay so this is the uh, meaning of exchange exchange when two person mutually transfer the ownership of one thing for the ownership of another neither things nor both the things money on uh, not, not both the things being money only the transaction is called exchange okay they can use goods or they can use money that is the point here so next question it is based on exchange so we will see means we can understand what is the exchange meaning Mr. A is a dealer of new phones. He supplied 20,000 to Mr. B along with the exchange of old phones. And if the price of old new phone without exchange 24,000, okay, the open market value of the new phone is 24,000. Mr. A is liable to pay GST and B is also liable to pay GST on 4,000. He is a registered person. The same question as example 10, you can see here. The example 10 and example 11 is the same. There is nothing change. So, you can see that question and you can compare the both questions. Now, once again. Okay. So, here Mr. A is a dealer of new phone he supplied 20,000 mr. B along with the exchange of old phones and if the price of new phone without exchange is 24,000 without exchange if the market value is 24,000 then mr. A the dealer has to pay the GST on 24,000 and mr. B also liable to pay GST 4,000 because he took on 20,000 if the open market value is 24,000 so extra 4,000 mr. B also has to pay GST if he is a register if he is not registered the dealer should has to pay the GST okay this is also RCM case uh, later in of the videos I will discuss what is the RCM and there is a some special cases are there so I will discuss that now example number 12 Mr. X is a dealer of new car. 
now we are seeing example 12 that is mr x is a dealer of mr x is the dealer of new car one second and put some okay mr x is the dealer of new car he sells new car for 8,25,000 agreed reduce to rupees 1,20,000 on surrendering on old car mr y who intends to buy mr y who intends to buy the new car worth rupees 8,25,000 agreed to exchange his old car with a new car okay if he given old car if they exchange the product uh, like old car to new car the dealer agreed to reduce the amount of one lakh twenty five thousand okay under gst law what they are telling under the gst law it will be treated as mr has mr y has met supply of old car to the dealer mr dealer mr x and mr x has made a supply of new car so under the gst law in this case uh it is considered as both has to treated as made supply old car to new car okay if Mr. Y is registered person, he will be liable to pay GST on 1,25,000. If Y is, who is the customer, Mr. Y here is the customer. So, one second. Mr. Y is the customer here. If Mr. So in this case, if Mr. Y is registered person, he will to pay liable of just one twenty five thousand because he given old car for one twenty five thousand. If he, if Y customer is the registered person, he has to pay GST on one twenty five thousand. If Mr. X will be liable to pay GST eight twenty five thousand, whether Y is registered or not. In the case of dealer, dealer has to pay eight lakh twenty five pay GST on total amount 8,25,000 if Y is registered or not registered it won't be affect anything on Mr. X okay so Mr. X who is the dealer he has to pay GST on total amount 8,25,000 if Mr. Y is registered if the customer is registered he has to pay GST on 1,25,000 this is the case of exchange okay in, in next video I will go through the license I will tell the concept about license. See here, each and every examples are important because each and every examples will give you the different different concepts. So don't skip even single example because it is very important. I will show you the question paper how they used to ask, uh, and each and every example has different different concept. Uh, you will feel a bit difficult, but this is if you understand the concept, this is very easy. You are watching CMA Leaf channel. If you are not yet, subscribe the channel. Subscribe the channel and click on bell icon. So you will get the more updates. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.